Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here. So this is the Juniper SRX100. It's a little bit an old device, but it is from Juniper and uh, we can use it to be able to configure it so the internet will be shared on this Juniper device. As you can see here, it has different ports. Here we have a console port and then we have seven other internet ports. All right, so what we need to do now, is just we have to power on this Juniper and I'm going to uh, connect to the uh, uh, port, which is uh, the console port, because I need to load the configuration uh, on it, the default configuration, because this Juniper, I have bought it, it is a used one. So there is already configuration on uh, this router. So I need to load the default configuration on this router. Actually, you can, if you want, just press, if you see here, let's see it uh, over here so the reset config you can just press this reset config and then you will load the default configuration on uh, this router the other way to do is just to go to the console and then make a one command to load the default configuration on the router so i really want to reset it to be a factory a reset configuration on it and then i'm going to connect one of those ports, which is not the console, but those ports actually, I need to connect the cable to it, and then I will have to go to JWAP to be able to start configuring this router, so we can have the internet using this router, so this will be sharing the internet for my inside users. So, the first step now we need to do is to put the console port, so the console port is nothing more than this, you see this port over here, it's called console, this is an RG45 from one side, the other side is DB9. Then I connect it to my computer, then I go to the software and I will do the uh, reset of the configuration from the console. If you don't know how to use the console, that's not a problem. All you need to do, you just, just get something like a pen or something and you see this hole over here, you can just uh, press it for 15 seconds and then this router will be resetted to the default configuration so let's directly go now and put the console port on this router and then we see how we can load the default configuration to this router 